tell us about yourself. About me, you know everything there is to know already. I'm Mark Tindley, as you know. I'm a, a fine woodworker out here in Petaluma with uh, my good friend Greg behind you. And we do custom woodworking. Hello, everybody. Um, I'm Greg Zoll. I work here at the shop with Mark Tindley, and we are out here in Petaluma. I've been here for quite a number of years. I trained in fine woodworking in London, England. I went to a place that used to be called the London College of Furniture. You know, since I moved to the US like 10 years ago, we've been just doing custom woodworking non-stop. It's a wonderful place to work and we get a variety of projects that come through. Pretty much anything people bring us in wood, we'll, we'll consider it. So we do a lot of furniture, we do a lot of cabinetry, we do some uh, marquetry, which is Greg's specialism, which I've been getting into. Right now, um, we're working on this marquetry project that I just love working on. I think it's really fun. Marquetry's doing pictures in wood um, by just using the different colors of natural colors of wood to create your designs with. So you're taking the veneer wood and you're cutting it very thin and then kind of piecing it all together to create these designs. Kind of magic. You just go around it and then suddenly it fits. And I think it's fun because it's, it's all natural materials and you get uh, to have something that in the end is part of the wood and part of the furniture, but it's not just painted on, it's still substantial. It's still part of the actual wood. So here you see a completed panel. It's ready to go and just be sanded and then taken to the finishers. This is all gonna go up on a wall of a bedroom. Um, there's gonna be like six or seven panels. Um, but before this was glued down, I started out with just my background veneer, which is sort of like what this is on. And here's like some of the pieces of veneer that I might use for a project. But look at all these colors. So that's the beak color. This is like the, the chest color here. It's kind of like the wood created it, but just by manipulating it a little bit yourself, you kind of are able to kind of give it these little touches that make it look realistic and fun. And these colors are all natural? These are all natural colors. These buds here, they, they have this, this very subtle shading. How, how do you get that? We just use very, very hot sand and you dip the wood into the edge of the sand and it just toasts the wood just a little bit. Just nice, a uh, little bit of toasting in there can really give it that sense of depth. What we should think about is uh, maybe getting getting a little detail put on the violin. That'd be great. How, how do you feel about that? I would love it. That yeah? would be so much fun. <laughs> I've always been sort of artistic, so it combined two of my favorite things, which was drawing and woodworking. So it's the one way you can put graphics right onto your project. So that's been uh, something that is, I guess, makes your work stand out a little bit, makes it special. Hello. This is our big marquetry project that we just completed and it was a lot of work, uh, four and a half months. Mark here was a big help on it, weren't you Mark? I might have done a thing or two. <laughs> We've both done a lot of marquetry in the past, but uh, always in smaller sections. Working this huge was a bit of a challenge. The smaller you can work the better. So the idea is to make all the detailed stuff small and then treat it like one thing that was together all along and then cut that in. And there's a mix of techniques going on here. Most of it's cut in with marquetry where it's all cut in on the scroll saw, but some of it is just impossible to do. And those areas are cut in with inlay. So those things are made in marquetry, but then cut in with inlay with a, you know, literally with a, with a, with a tiny exacto knife. Yeah, I think Mark was particularly good at that, and if you ever get a close-up of this, you can just see what an accurate job he did. This, this was a good challenge, this one, because uh, the woods ended up being, you know, just a lot of uh, shades of gray. In this particular piece, I redid it a few times because it just didn't look right, and in, in the end I found a piece of Buckeye Burl and I think that worked out really well. It's one of the things I'm most proud of on the job. To me, that's the coolest bit when you see it all as one, you know, giant picture like this, you know, where it can yeah. all interconnect. I mean, the individual panels are cool, but when you see it as a, as a whole like that, I think it, it, it sort of makes it something special, I think. 
sort of my passion and Mark's too. And uh, it's nice to have somebody to share it with.